the promise of the position. Uh, right now, it's it's running me ragged. Uh, I walked into a, a projected deficit of about six million dollars the day I assumed office, and that's required some efforts on our part that sometimes have been painful. I mean, we've got to make our organization flatter, leaner, smarter, uh, more efficient than it has been before, and so that means that we're thinning down from four bureaus down to three. Um, that we're thinning out some command staff that I won't have ex uh, the same support staff that other sheriffs have enjoyed, which means I have to work a lot harder than I might otherwise. But that's not the point. The people of this county elected me to work hard, and they expect me to work hard, so I'm going to forego some administrative staff, some support command staff that would make my life easier um, in order to trim our budget. I'm working very cooperatively with Mr. Huckleberry to look at issues uh, regarding our budget. Um, we're not going to make up $6 million. It's never going to happen. Um, I'm trying to get to about half of that, or maybe a little better. Um, in the back half of this fiscal year, and I think that would be very successful on our part. But I look out and I see the promise of collaboration that's never occurred before. I look out at the promise of some social justice initiatives that could make real impact in the criminal justice community that I'd like to be involved in um, to, to restore the morale of an agency that's kind of got its chin dragging on the ground a little bit. Um, and then to end my professional career life on a real high note of, of looking back and seeing I did develop those relationships that I wanted to with people I respected and cared about, and we made a difference together in, in public safety in this county. If I can do that four years, eight years, or 12 years, however many years I'm blessed with this job, that will be a good crescendo on something that started in 1981. Great, and then right off into the sunset. With Mrs. <laughs> Napier. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and just one more question, just to kind of wrap up. But, um, you know, what are, you know, both of you guys most excited for now? You know, collaborating together, making new changes. What are you most excited for? Well, I, I, I really like um, the way the, the sheriff just framed uh, his response to your question there. I, I am very excited about the opportunities to work together regionally on a number of things. I think the people who live throughout this region really expect that their um, police agencies will do more than just sort of coexist or perhaps share information. I, I think they really expect us to find as many ways possible to share resources, to you know develop best practices with each other, to really work together on shared priorities. And we have a lot of shared priorities. So I'm very excited about that. I never lose focus, I don't think either one of us do, that we gotta reduce crime. I don't take for granted the current level of crime, even though this is still predominantly a safe community, I think we can always do better. So in the year ahead, we're gonna be looking at a lot of different strategies to reduce crime. Um, we're gonna be implementing a ComStat model that involves regularly analyzing data as a group of commanders, but we wanna take, you know, I'm hopeful we can take that a step further and share that data with our, with our partners in the county and look at, there are many problems that really overlap, that if we're all kind of on the same page, we can make a real difference in some of these things. So I think it's gonna be, every year is a challenging year, let's face it but I think it's gonna be very exciting, promising year in terms of opportunities to collaborate, to innovate, um, really to take it kind of the next level when it comes to providing police services. So I think it's a great time to be here in Tucson. Well, we, um, we share our desire. I mean, we both became law enforcement officers because we wanna reduce crime. We wanna make our community safer and we've taken an oath and given our lives to doing exactly that. Now we have the, blessing of leading large agencies that and inspiring that same thing uh, downward and that we can do better the two of us together than the two of us separately. We have fiduciary responsibility over hundreds of millions of dollars of our taxpayers money and I know that I take that responsibility very seriously as does Chief Magnus to let's spend that money as smart and as uh, get as good return on investment of that money that we can and we do that better by staying focused, using a best practices approach, whether it's information-driven policing, community-driven policing, um, community problem solving, all those models together of looking at best practices. What is he doing that I can benefit from? What am I doing that he can benefit from? And how can we make this a better county for everybody, the one million people that live here um, that don't know jurisdictional boundaries? And they don't want us to know those either. They want us to be efficient and best at what we do. That's why they entrust us with these positions. What a blessing that is.